Oh, Dannon's going full retard again. Yeah, he goes apeshit. Yeah, just watching my buddy the Ferkman's live stream of Sleeping Dogs. Pretty awesome. I gotta get this one. And, uh, yeah. Working on the model a little bit. Well, Christine is just about ready for prime time. Just got done. Doing some body work. Drilling holes. Drilling guidelines for the fender spears. Flat black paint is just there to check the finish. Uh, I was taking a, a little bit of modification. Uh, this car had a, a big old blower coming through the hood. You can kind of see where it was supposed to clip in. And I filled that with some uh, scrap plastic and some epoxy. Oh yeah, I discovered this when I took the body off the chassis. Way back in 2000, I put my initials in here and the year for some reason. <laughs> but you can see where... I had to fill in the custom door line that had this weird sort of curve to it and then scribe a proper door line. Yep, other side of course. Got both tail fins, got the trim on them now. Um, well, I still need some bits and pieces to finish this kit. So, let me show you something here. A while back I lucked out and found an already open Christine kit online for, I think it was like six or seven bucks. It was missing some parts, but, um, you know, that didn't matter. It had what I needed, and combined with the parts I got from my buddy Jake, uh, I have everything I need to finish uh, my Christine. Uh, just in case you're wondering why I'm not building my Christine out of this kit, uh, it's because this kit has uh, some serious issues. Here are the two bodies side by side. Um... You know, I had initially thought that the the Snapfast kit I'm working on was some kind of an early tooling for what is now the uh, the fully detailed kit. Uh, but I have since learned this is not the case. Uh, the bodies are remarkably different. The full detailed kit has uh, what I would call an almost accurate body. It does have some serious issues, though. First of all would be the roof line. It begins to taper towards the rear pillar a little too early. And uh, the side trim, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be just a little straighter than that. It's its kind of like, it gives the impression that the car got high centered and bent in the middle. And that's what it looks like to me every time I see a built up. And I believe that this plastic body is based off the same tooling for the 118 scale uh, diecast model because it seems to have the exact same problems. Now the uh, the body I'm using from the Snapfast kit just seems all around uh, more accurate. The the trim is not exactly right, but it is straighter. Um, it seems to me the tail fins are a little bit exaggerated, but. That really doesn't bother me because tail fins were, they were an exaggeration, so there you go. Well, I think I'm about ready to take the plunge and get some paint on this beauty. Well, got a light coating of primer on there. It's the first time I'm going to be doing the whole model with lacquer paint, and the primer seems a little runny. I don't know if that's a thing with lacquer, but whatever. If anything uh, needs fixing, that's what sandpaper's for. So, next installment color coat.